Welcome back to Val Lane after a 2-0 win against Crystal Palace on the 23s here at Val Lane. We're joined by Paul Cannavai. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, 90 minutes under your belt tonight? How yeah. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Obviously, like the last time I played was um, 2nd of March, so that's eight months ago. Um, I've been training to all this moment, so yeah, it felt good being out there. Um, I felt comfortable and I like, feel sharp, so yeah, it was good to get 90 under my belt. How's it going? Sharp is a great word. You look like an athlete out there. You don't look like a footballer. You look like someone who's primed, ready to go. And, and just at the right time where, you know, we, we need depth, we need competition for places. Um, what was it like out there playing the 90 though? Yeah, like felt good. Um, like obviously it's my first 90, so when you got to like the 85th, I started feeling in the legs. Um, but yeah, no, like you said, I've been more prepared um, to, to, to adapt to that situation. So I've been training for a very long time now and to get that 90, um, it felt good. Um, like towards the end, obviously, like the legs started feeling it, but that's expe expe expected, sorry. Um, so, yeah, no, I was, I was happy being out there. I haven't seen you with a smile on your face like this for a long, long time, you know? Yeah, because it's like... You look, good. <laughs> you, you look like you've got a buzz about you. Yeah, no, I do. Um, like, obviously, fair play to see Mac, like, push me. Like, I told him, I'm like, I feel sharper than before. Um, obviously, he does physical testing and it's like... With those tests and as always shows um, I'm at my physical peak and this is the fittest I've been. So it's good to always, people always say I like, come back stronger, but I've actually come back stronger and I feel sharper. Um, so yeah, nah, it's good that you, to know that the work you've put in um, is paying off. Has it been frustrating watching, are you a good watcher at football or has it been frustrating on the touchline? Um, it is frustrating because <laughs> you want to play. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it's like it keeps you hungry. So watching us like every week I want I want to obviously play but like yeah, I'm hungry I'm ready so that's it so I'm always ready for an opportunity when it comes and like you said like to everyone else in my team has been out for a long time and it'll take time but for me for myself my standards I'm like I should be ready at all times I should always be ready to perform when needed so yeah and that's what I've been doing. Was it key to not rush you back? Obviously I know you were saying you've been chomping at the bit of a year but was it key not to rush you back and make sure when you come back you were Basically. Yeah, that's that's for the medical staff to <laughs> discuss. Um, I just got according to how I feel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I, I did feel like I, I didn't get rushed back and everything was well prepared and timed. Just hold your mic up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold We're it down, in. <laughs> cool. Um, clean trick tonight. Yeah, like Gaffer said um, after the team talk. So we had an FA Cup win. Um, obviously, now we're top of this table. Um, we're through, so Saturday is the most important one um, can we do in the league, so three wins in a week, um, that will be perfect and we can go on a run from there. Right, enough of this, what happened at the end? That's what I want to know, how did that not go in right at the end down there? I was down there and I was the, like... Their keeper made, I don't know, seven <laughs> saves. I'm like, I don't know whether to go give him a high five or hold my head, I'm like, oh, that's unbelievable from We him. watch it because you just like, yeah. what is going yeah. on down there? Yeah. Squint in your eyes, like, where yeah. is it? Sometimes over on the far side, because of the screen, the digital board, you lose the ball sometimes, even sometimes like, yeah. from wherever you sat, you're just like squinting. I don't know how you felt sat here. You're like, whoa, what is going on down there? We enjoyed it from where we were sat. But what a mad end. Yeah, and that was a crazy end. And don't forget, like they had another end. Tans made um, a good yeah, double save so good. to keep our clean sheet. So that, that's the most important thing. How nice was it playing in front of a, a Tans? Obviously, look, he is very fresh. He hasn't played much football this season because Alex Bass has come in. But someone who wants to prove a point. Yeah, and no, it's good. And obviously, most of the players playing tonight want to prove a point. Um, so it's a good opportunity for them. Um, playing in front of times, obviously, for me, was like second nature, all the communication and protecting the keeper. And obviously, him like saving us at the end, keeping a clean sheet. So we had the relationship. But yeah, like, it was important for tonight for everyone to have a point to prove to perform. And then be ready for selection. What's that in your pocket? That's a, that's a £20 million pound Crystal Palace player, isn't it? Fancy. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> 20 million, isn't it? If he's £20 million, I'm at least five. I'm at least five. I'll take five. Let me a fiver. <laughs> yeah. You know, obviously, when you play, is it, is it really important to get a clean sheet? Obviously, the game, yeah. sort, of, the game sort of fizzled out of it, didn't it? But was it really important for you to get a clean sheet? For me, it was important to get a clean sheet. Every game I play, my main focus is to not concede. Um, we can win 5-1 
I'll be fuming because my community is gone. <laughs> um, for me, yeah, it is important. I hold myself to high standards. I have personal targets um, when it comes to clean sheet and obviously team targets. Um, so for me, it's important to keep that clean sheet. Um, it shows you've been solid and it's a good way to tick the box, so to speak. Yeah. So. Is this the first part of a phased return back for you now? Yes. Um, for me, I had to get 90. Um, now I've got 90, so I'm ready for an opportunity. And obviously, it's up to the gaffer to select the team, and that's his job. For me, my job is to stay ready, train well, and be ready when needed. Legend. Brilliant. Look, thank you very much for joining us straight after the game. Nice um, one. It's cold. Love the back. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you. Cheers. Thank you. Nice one, Paul. Thank you, thank you Paul. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, my leg. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> is he original? What you can't see is that... Oh, Stuart! <laughs> <laughs> is he original? Original? He yeah. Is he original? Yeah. Thank you, Spike. What, what a original, plonker. Then? What an absolute plonker. <laughs> uh, thanks to Paul Callumby for joining us. Great yeah. interview, great chat. Do you know what? I genuinely haven't seen him that happy in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. We'll bring Spike in as well. Yeah, do you know what? It's interesting. Smile on his face. I think that's why.